Welcome back to Peek Inside. It's Saturday morning. I got my jeans, long sleeve black shirt on. My hair is pulled up and it was a really nice, relaxing morning. One of the things that has changed over the years from when my children were younger and, you know, took the bus and everything to school, um, you know, now I'm out the door at a certain time every day. It's kind of like our new routine and, you know, phase of life and that. And I love Saturday mornings. It just feels like everybody just kind of needs a break from that having to get out the door at a certain time. You're not looking at the clock and everything and it's really enjoyable and I really appreciate the weekends and everything now and just with life is actually busier now than when the kids were younger. It's so weird but just with all of my different responsibilities and actually being more social and everything. Um, it's very different for me from many, many years ago, but life is really, really good. And one of the things I love to share is like food prep and dinners. And I thought this video would be kind of like a great, you know, fresh start to really share with you what you can expect to see on my channel. So one of the things is I'm always trying to simplify everything in my kitchen. I want it to be as easy as possible to clean things to you know be able to get to the things I use on a regular basis so I'm just doing a quick wipe down of everything and we're gonna start off with a little bit of food prep and honestly this morning I had my coffee I didn't have a protein coffee I had a couple of scrambled eggs I had an English muffin with peanut butter I had a yogurt and some strawberries it was delicious it was nice to sit down and that was what I enjoyed for breakfast on a Saturday but now I'm going to do a little bit of food prep. So I had a red onion that was in my refrigerator and I'm going to take the last of the green pepper from the pizza the night before I made homemade pizza and red pepper and I'm going to slice these up and just kind of prep them. I don't really have a lot of stuff of what I want to do. Like we have a lot of stuff to do on this Saturday, but since I was cleaning up the kitchen, I really wanted to just kind of take advantage of this time and do a little bit of prep because I'm actually going to be using this in the future for some breakfast, some lunch, and some dinners. some strawberries earlier in the week when they were on sale and I wanted to make sure that they're prepped and ready to go. It just makes it easier to have breakfast and lunch and snacks um, just to prep them ahead of time. I don't do it right when I buy them but they've been in there for a while and I wanted to make sure that we ate them and there they are. There is my onions and peppers and then I also took out steak and chicken. So some of it's going to be for dinner tonight. Some of it's going to be for dinner tomorrow night. So that's it. Um, I don't have a lot of stuff going on in the kitchen today, but I am going to be drinking my water and I will meet you back at dinner time. So I am doing an old favorite and it's so funny because I was thrifting. I think I've had this for about two months. Sandy Richard, she had a show on... Um, Food Network Canada called Fixing Dinner and I remember watching it. It was $7. I wasn't going to get it and I'm like, this is one of those things that if I didn't buy it, I would regret it. And I, I was on my phone and I was looking up the Japanese oh, marinated chicken thighs and I'm like, I think that was in the book that I bought and sure enough, there it was. Japanese grilled chicken, rice, and stir-fry veggies. This is like the whole meal and everything. And I'm like, here it is right here. And I have been making these chicken thighs for years and it was all because of this show called Fixing Dinner. And they take a family, she'd come in and she kind of observe and like one night it would be called Fright Night and she would come in and help them, you know, come up with a dinner plan. And that's exactly what this book is. So there's some familiar recipes in here. I think there's only two that I really make this and my Tex-Mex chicken soup. I will link the recipe down below for the marinade, but I just wanted to share this with you. This is one of the joys of thrifting is when you find something that you just cannot buy in the store. So we're going to go ahead and make the marinade. It's just an egg. You use paprika, you use honey, you use lime juice, you use soy sauce and sesame oil and you just whisk it all up and then you add your chicken to it. So honestly, um, this is going to be for dinner on Sunday night 
and I'm prepping it now because Sunday we have plans. We're going to be gone most of the day. And I just find the chicken tastes really nice whenever it's marinated for a long time. And as we get into the nicer weather, one of the things that I will be doing is instead of freezing the chicken or the pork or the steaks or whatever it is, I will be marinating them and then freezing them. So that way when I take them out, they will marinate and absorb all of the flavors and it just makes it a little bit easier. And that way, you know, if it's a really busy day, you take it out. It's just doing food prep a little bit different. And that's one of the things I'll keep sharing as we keep moving into the warmer summer months. But this Japanese grilled chicken, I've been making it for years. I always use the chicken thighs and I really, really like it. So I will link the recipe down below and it's really simple to make. And it's just ingredients that I have in my kitchen and nothing special. These are all part of my staples. And then I'm just going to take the chicken thighs and I'm using a Pyrex bowl that I bought at Costco. I don't use these a lot, but I really do like them because they have a lid. And that's one of the things I'm trying to do too is reduce, you know, using single use plastics. And I try to only use Ziploc bags when I really need to. And this is one of the things where I like to use these bowls. But if I was marinating them and freezing them, it would probably be a lot easier to do it in a Ziploc bag. husband and I are having steak and potatoes tonight and the other night I thought I took out chili and it ended up being spaghetti sauce. Our son's actually going to have this for dinner tonight because he had something else that night and just trying to learn how to like you know have carbohydrates and you know have a healthy relationship with food. I had so much guilt that night. I'm like oh my goodness this was supposed to be chili. I was going to have like protein chips with it and I'm like no. I got my kitchen scale out. I weighed out my pasta I measured it out a perfect portion and I sat down and I enjoyed a plate of homemade spaghetti sauce and honestly the next morning when I woke up I was feeling so satisfied and full and it was at that moment that I realized like carbohydrates is really important for me at dinner time because I find like if I don't eat any kind of carbs at dinner I am really hungry about eight o'clock at night or the next day so I have some mushrooms I'm just slicing them up and then of course I'm drinking my water and I'm just waiting for my oven to preheat I'm just quickly taking a little look at the recipes here and then I'm like oh wraps and there's casseroles and I'm really excited to sit down and actually look at this book but I went to get some potatoes for dinner I was gonna make like just you know, I was just going to dice up some potatoes and onions. The potatoes that I had, I had them for a while and they were all shriveled up and everything. So I was really glad that I picked up these potatoes. Um, it says like, you know, no preservatives and all of that. I'm looking at the ingredients. Soybean oil. I know that's one of those things for some people don't want to eat this. Some people are okay with it. I just want to give these potatoes a try and I'm okay with it, you know, if it's here and there. And I was really glad to have these potatoes because I don't know what I would have had this night. So we're going to put the potatoes and the onions in the oven. I have the mushrooms. My husband's going to barbecue. And I was getting ready to season the steaks. And I really like spice blends. I use the Montreal Steak Spice. I have this wild whiskey one and then this Greek one. And then when I was at Costco last week, I had seen this on Instagram, a sesame ginger crunch with garlic. I thought this would be really nice if you're doing stir fries or something and you want to barbecue or, you know, add a little bit of different seasonings. I really like it. So I just kind of looking at the spices. I actually prefer this size a little bit smaller compared to the bigger ones. But I just wanted to share this with you because I find like, you know, using um, spice blends and, you know, making your own sauce and everything can be really you know, easier than buying all of these other like pre-made things. So it's some of the things I'm trying to do. So um, I'm going to go ahead and saute the mushrooms since there is onions with the potatoes. Just a little bit of olive oil, just some salt and pepper, and then I'll cook them down. And then as the pan, um, you know, gets dried out, I'll add a little bit of water to deglaze. I find that really helps. So I wanted to share this with you because I'm doing a little bit more food prep too. I'm still waiting for the oven to preheat. And there is Hunter. So I'm taking a little bit of cheese. Um, this was a new one I bought at Costco. I think it's the Kerrygold Dubliner or something. Like in Canada, like Kerrygold and like grass-fed butter and all of that, that's something that's not very popular here. It's very, very expensive. And organic foods is not a large part of here in Canada from what I've seen in the States. Um, and I think that has a lot to do with like 
food regulations and, you know, what is considered organic and all that kind of stuff. So it's just the way it is in our country. Like a lot of people want to eat organic, but not a lot of people do. And a lot of the produce, like it's been sitting there for a while because people don't want to pay the extra for it. So I'm just going ahead and grating up some of the cheese because I want to use this with the peppers and the onions. And of course, Hunter, he is my supervisor and he loves to have that little nibble nibble. And of course, Linus came too. Cheese is really hard on Linus's stomach. So he just gets an itty bitty little piece. But I just wanted to share that with you because I know that you all love to see the supervisors. The steaks are ready to go for hubby. He'll be taking care of that part of dinner. Hunter is just making sure I didn't drop anything. I had the dishwasher running and I just want a really easy cleanup. Like I'm trying to stay focused, keep everything tidy. Um, I measured out like the single serving macaroni for our son. So he'll be able to enjoy that. I'm just deglazing the pan and there's the mushroom. So that will be our vegetable and the potatoes are in the oven and there's really not anything for me to do right now. Um, like when I'm organized, it's so easy to stay on top of everything, but, um, some nights it's not always like that. And then this is up on my refrigerator. Like this is my starting point. Anybody that walks into my home sees this and you know, this is what I'm trying to do. Have a healthier relationship with food, eat the proper foods that nourish my body and, you know, do the best that I can. And one of the things is like, these little things here are not part of my everyday life, but for my three to four pick me up, I had a coffee and then I did want to try this 20 grams of protein, one gram of sugar. Cause I know some of you are asking me if this brand was any good. I really did like it. I like just being able to pick out one thing instead of having like a whole case of it. And I think, you know, that helps too, with just having like a bar here or there in your purse or in the, you know, the, wherever you keep everything. My husband likes them too. So I just want to share that with you. And a couple of weeks ago, I also picked up a couple of smaller plates um, I find this worked really good for the spaghetti the other night. Like I felt like, wow, this is a big full plate and it filled it up and I weighed out the portion and it was delicious. I enjoyed it. There was no guilt. The sour cream I had picked up for the chili and we didn't use it. So we're actually going to use it tonight for the potatoes. And then I have steak sauce and I'm not sure if I'm going to switch everything like to that Hughes brand. I know a lot of you have, you know, said that you really, really enjoy it. I know it's no sugar added. I know a lot of people will use that. I don't know what the future will hold, but I'm just sharing little things that I'm trying to do. And I'm ready to kick Hunter out of my kitchen. So he's out supervising dad. Um, and it's April in Ontario. We get all four seasons in one day. So I can't wait until we can sit out and enjoy and eat out on our dock, but it's still pretty chilly, but dinner is ready. So there's the potatoes. I was very happy with these. I think these would be fine in the air fryer too. And then the mushrooms, the potatoes, I will definitely be picking up again. These are a staple to have for the nights where I don't feel like cooking. Uh, the vegetables, any kind of meat, you got a sheep pan dinner. There's our dinner. We're really focusing on the steak and the protein and a little bit of carbs and vegetables. It was delicious. Here's what's left over. I'm actually going to use it for breakfast the next morning to do with some of the little bit of food prep that I did. And it's a beautiful evening. I don't want a big cleanup. I use Dawn Power Wash whenever I'm not going to wash my dishes right away. It helps me. So if you've never picked this up and you like to let your dishes sit for a while, give it a try. I promise you won't regret it. But it's the next morning. Um, I made my husband a breakfast. So I took two eggs and I made him a beautiful omelet with the steak, the peppers, the onions, and the cheese. I took the potatoes, threw them in the air fryer, and the strawberries were already prepped. Our son ate at six o'clock when he got up. I had my coffee and there is Hunter. He is always nearby when I'm in the kitchen. I made my husband a beautiful breakfast. I enjoy like cooking for other people and he appreciates it. And I drank a protein coffee because we're going out today and we're having lunch out and I'm trying to maneuver like, do I need a big breakfast or whatever? Cause it was, it was different than the Saturday before and I'm trying to figure everything out, but it all worked. We had a beautiful day out. I enjoyed lunch out. I didn't need anything for that three to four pick me up, but it was pretty chilly out. So I came home and I put on some leggings and a sweatshirt and I do not feel like making dinner. I don't want a big mess and everything to clean up because I have a really busy Monday and I just want to like zone out. So I was really glad that the chicken was prepped ahead of time and I'm going to make some coconut rice because I have quite a bit of coconut milk and I dumped it into my Pyrex measuring cup and I whisked it to, like to blend it all. If you use coconut milk, you know, but if you're going to use it, like make sure you blend it. And then I added enough water to get the two cups. 
So that's good to go. Hubby is going to take the chicken out into the cooler weather and barbecue with Hunter. And I'm going to get the rest of our dinner going. So there's the coconut milk. I'm going to bring it to a boil, add in one cup of rice that I washed. Rinse, you're supposed to do that. And I don't do it every night, but tonight was one of those nights. And we're going to try another oven roasters because I didn't really have anything other vegetables. Like I had other frozen ones, but I wanted to try these. Very happy with the quality and the size of the Brussels sprouts. The carrots I found, they were a little bit bigger. I would cut them in half, a little bit smaller for next time. I would buy these again. I like them. Our son's dinner is in the air fryer. I made some sweet potato fries. I just took a sweet potato and then I have some chicken. So he's going to have that. And then the vegetables are in the oven. And it's going to be a quick, easy cleanup tonight. Um, the dishwasher is running again because there was enough to run it. And then I have a plate ready to go for the chicken. There's the grapes and ketchup for his potatoes. I'm drinking my baba and I just want to get dinner on the table tonight. So I'm using leftovers. Um, not leftovers tonight. I am preheating everything and cooking and all of that. And this is the finished product. So I put my husband's dinner on the regular size plate and I put mine on like the smaller plate. I didn't like it on the smaller plate because as I was cutting my chicken, like rice was kind of flying everywhere. I did put a little bit of soy sauce on mine. My husband put a little bit of like honey sriracha or something on his. It was a really good dinner. I would cut the carrots again and we have lots of leftovers and I'm actually going to use that for dinner tomorrow night. A little bit of a mess to clean up and um, yeah, I would buy these again, but I would definitely cut the carrots up a little bit smaller. And I shared some of the carrots with the boys and there they are. Lamb chops in the kitchen too. Linus will make appearances here and there, but here it is. Everything is cleaned up. It's good to go whenever the dishwasher is empty. Honestly, this didn't get loaded till the next morning, to be honest with all of you. There's my rice. I went ahead and made my husband's lunch. I took a little bit of rice cut up the chicken for him and put the vegetables in. He just appreciates it. And I put a little bit of honey sriracha and that was the it for our weekend. So Monday morning was crazy. I didn't even have a protein coffee at a protein bar because I was running behind. I wasn't organized and I was so glad to have this prepped because honestly, I would have went through the McDonald's drive through but because I had this prepped, I was looking forward to an omelet. So I took a little bit of bacon bits, added my onions and peppers, I'm going to saute this and then I took my two eggs and I scrambled them and I'm like, oh, I don't want to, you know, take this out. Um, and then I just added this in and it, it's not going to be an omelet. My husband got the beautiful omelet. I'm getting scrambled eggs. I'm putting everything but the bagel seasoning. I like to do that every once in a while for my eggs. It was one o'clock by the time I did this and I just wanted to get lunch. But honestly, I was so thankful to have these onions and peppers prepped. I knew that I had strawberries and I just had a yogurt with this. It was a delicious lunch and I know that it's nourishing my body a lot better than grabbing something quickly through the drive through So the afternoon was busy. I didn't need a pick-me-up because I ate lunch really late and I had a coffee. Um, that's all I had was a nice hot cup of coffee. It hit the spot and now I need to get dinner on the table and I'm taking the leftovers. This was my plan. Um, I want to be sharing more of this with you because I like to do things ahead of time instead of just, you know, this is what I made this night, a recipe. I really find that if I do a little bit here one night and another night, it really helps me in the long run. And I actually find it keeps the amount of work in my kitchen down. Like I don't have as much stuff to clean up and everything. So of course I have something separate for our son tonight and I'm just focusing on our dinner. So I started off with the tongs. I quickly got rid of them and started using my hands. I'm dicing up all of this chicken and that was my plan. I'm going to use some of it tonight and then the rest of it, I'm actually, I used it for my lunch for the next day um, just because it was a lot of protein and it was just really de easy to reheat up. And I just used it with some like, you know, cucumbers and dip. So in my skillet, I have a little bit of olive oil and I'm adding in some of the onions and peppers that I prepped on the Monday. And then I'm adding some of the chicken here, not all of it, but at first I was going to add the rice and then I'm thinking, well, if I put the chicken in, it's going to take longer to heat up. So that's what I did. And then I'm just adding a little bit of soy sauce. I don't necessarily know if I needed this. I think I could have probably skipped it. And then I'm just making sure that the chicken is heated all the way through. It's not going to take long to do. And I'm really just making kind of like a chicken fried rice. Um, this sounded really good. I know it's something that my husband and I like. And then I'm just putting a little bit of sesame oil here too. And this is one of the things 
was about trying to figure out portions and everything. Like I was going to make like a double batch of rice, like two cups of rice instead of one, but I'm glad I only made one. And then I had these spring rolls. I'm trying to have little things here because I feel like it's a little something extra to add. And I ended up doing eight spring rolls because the serving size says four. And then I'm thinking, okay, my husband and I can each eat three and then there'll be two left for his lunch. So I thought that would work well. So I went ahead and added the rice to the pan and then I let it sit for a couple of minutes just so kind of the steam and everything could heat it up. And then it would be easier to break up. And I really was worried that I wasn't going to have enough rice, but I'm like, you know what? It's really about focusing on the protein. We're going to have the spring rolls on the side. It'll be a little bit of that extra carbs and all of that. It's really all about the balance and everything for the meals. But um, I did put a little bit of the honey sriracha, and I think that was really all that I needed. I didn't need to add more sesame oil and, you know, doing it over. Sometimes you can add a little bit too much, and I just felt that was a little bit more than what I needed. But here's the finished product. Um, a little bit of green onions and sesame seeds. This hues, holy cow, it was hot. And then I had plum sauce and then a little bit of honey sriracha too. So um, that's my dinner. I went ahead and prepped my husband's too. And he's like, come on, let's see. And I said, okay, okay. So sorry, the video is a little bit rushed at the end. But like I said, I'm cooking for my family and all of that. But I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I think it's a little bit of everything of what you're going to see on my channel. And really, this is my favorite way of making dinners. And I actually find it's less work, especially when I am organized.